Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Publisher 2016 tutorial, I'll be going over how to design a letterhead in Publisher. Let's get started. So you'll see that when I open up Publisher, it's taken me to the default screen. And whenever I want to build a certain type of a document, which is letterhead in this case, I want to go to the built-in area. So I'll click right here on built-in, and this will open up all of the types of publications that Publisher can create. They are listed in alphabetical order, so if I scroll down just a little bit, I'll see letterhead is listed right here. Okay, so letterhead is pre-printed paper with important facts about the company and blank space to contain the text of the correspondence. It's used for official business communication uh, such as letters and it's an easy way to convey information to the reader and quickly establish a formal and legitimate mode of correspondence. Alright, so I click on that and you're going to notice that these documents you can see in the display area show exactly that. They have things like the company logo down towards the bottom or on different sides and then your contact information at the corners and sides. So really no matter what template you choose here most of that middle area is going to be blank and that's the area for your text to go in. So you can view all of the different types. I'm going to go right down here to radial and radial shows me the display over here. I have created a video on how to set up a custom color and font scheme for your business so I'm going to put a link to that video at the end here um, of this one. But uh, uh, I've chosen paper and virtual for this right here and then um, I have not created a business information set for publisher so I'm just gonna leave that blank and this is where you can choose to include your logo or not so I'm gonna click create and show you what this looks like after you click create I could zoom in just a little bit and you'll see if I had filled in that business information set that information would show up right here where it says business name as well as the company logo so if you've created a logo before you it'll pop up right here in this spot as I scroll down you'll see that these are the primary business address um, and phone as well as your fax and email lines uh, or fax line and email correspondence and so once you create this you could actually save it as a template and then reuse it anytime that you need uh, official documentation for your company so this is a really easy way to um, create your letterhead um, with a preset template using Microsoft Publisher so hopefully this video has helped you um, if it has please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel um, I have a full playlist on on publisher which uh, you should be on your screen at this point. Um, either way, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.